Welcome back to Anything Outdoors with Steve. I'm Daniel. Today is the day after Christmas. We got snowed on for Christmas uh, and it's continuing to come down a little bit today. I've been eating too much so I thought perhaps I should walk down to Hayden Lake, see what we can see. Might be worth looking at. Might just be a lot of gray sky and snow falling all over the place but let's go walk down there and see what we can see. Before we do, I want to go check on my rabbits to make sure that their house is warm enough. It's kind of cold today, so I got to keep an eye on it. All right, it is about 11 o'clock a.m. and our temperature's hanging around 25-ish, something like that, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. It's definitely frosty, the snowman kind of weather. Before I head out, I want to go check my rabbits to make sure their heater is warm enough. This is uh, this is my rabbit rodeo playpen area. Uh, it's way too cold to do that right now, but in fair weather, this is where we come out to play. So this is the Paz Mahal Bunny Palace. I built this for my rabbits a few years back. Uh, this is a specially designed house just for them. It's heated, has air conditioning. It's uh, very well insulated, so it not only keeps in the heat and keeps in the, the cool in the summertime, but it's also insulated against sound so that when there's fireworks and things like that, my rabbits don't have to be disturbed by it. Steve installed a, a bunny door so that zombie a feral rabbit who lives in my neighborhood can get in and out to get warm when he needs to and to get his get his lunch let's go in and check the temperature to make sure that it's not too cold for my bunnies let's see here it is it is a balmy uh, 75 ish something like that so it's warm enough So I live in Hayden, Idaho, which is about an hour and a half from the Canadian border, right at the top of Idaho. I moved up from LA about 10 years ago, something like that. I never looked back. I've made a lot of stupid decisions in my life. This is one that I got right, I think. I love it up here. It's a nice place full of nice people. I also have a house in Northeast Thailand, but I haven't been able to go over and see it because, uh... hi there, how you doing? Do you have a good Christmas? Yeah. Does Santa Claus bring you something? Yeah, he brought me a drone. I just did some practice. Awesome, yeah, get some practice. Merry Christmas. My wife and I also have a house in Northern Thailand, in Northeast Thailand, actually. Uh, she just got back from Thailand right before Christmas and cleaned up my dirty house and <laughs> uh, put up a Christmas tree and made some, made some jolly festivities that I would have otherwise missed out on if I was sitting there all by myself. I haven't been able to go over to Thailand for a while because of the world shut down. I'm getting tired of that. For a, for a Viking like me, it's really hard to sit in place and not do anything. I'm just not made to be locked up in a box. I have to wander and I have to roam. I told myself I would stay home today and just hang out at home. <laughs> but uh, that lasted about three hours before I felt the need to wander. Today, Steve is 
home probably shoveling shoveling up the piles of coal that Santa Claus dumped in his front yard for all the in recognition of all of the wickedness and depravity that he's engaged in during the year not really Steve's a good guy uh, Grant's over in Montana I understand he is snowshoeing and I've regretted not handing him a GoPro ever since I heard that he was headed over that would have been a nice little bit of footage for us to have to share on anything outdoors with Steve Sarah Bird is over in Montana she is fixing her snowmobile today it's uh, apparently snowing a lot more more over in in her neck of the woods than it is here and she was snowmobiling yesterday but I guess she had some issues with her snowmobile so it puttered out she wants to get it going and take advantage of the snow so this used to be this used to be a big ranch back in the day it was owned by a family called the Finucans and their old ranch house is still right here in the corner we're coming up on it so that that place across the street there and the house there on the corner that used to be the ranch house and all the rest of this all of this all the way down to the lake that used to be all cow pastures so this is the main road going in and out to Hayden Lake at least to the Honeysuckle Beach area it typically gets pretty busy in the summertime this is where people have access to the lake for fishing and water skiing and just going and hanging out by the shore and swimming and playing in the water um, more and more it's getting really busy however in the winter time particularly at night this is a nice walk I like to come down here in the winter the colder the better because I'm typically the only one here the only one stupid enough to do it I suppose Usually in the in fair weather in the evening time this area has a lot of deer walking around they know that they figured out that nobody can shoot them down here <laughs> so they hang out I typically have them in my front yard and backyard and rumor has it that some unknown individual occasionally throws a bale of alfalfa in my front yard when it's really cold in the winter to make sure they don't fr freeze and or starve to death.
Well, we are almost, we are almost to Honeysuckle Beach. Here we are. Welcome to Honeysuckle Beach. As far as <laughs> beaches go, it's not much of a beach. <laughs> it's more of a spot on the end of Hayden Lake where somebody dumped a little bit of sand, but it's the best beach we have in Hayden and it's a popular place, especially for little kids in the summertime. There's a lot of shallow water and it's roped off so that it's hard for kids to get in trouble. And it's a fun place to come and splash around and have a good time. North Idaho is a wonderful place full of mostly good people. It's still a safe place relative to a lot of places in the U.S. I'm happy to call it home. I'm very grateful to live here. All right, let's go take a let's go take a little walk over on to the dam. It's not so much a dam, frankly, as it is a, a dike. This, this area over here used to be floodplain in the springtime and they built a dike to contain the water a little bit better. It's one of my favorite places to go, especially in the, in the autumn time. I like to ride my bicycle down here, just putter down on my single speed.
the sky over Hayden Lake looks a little bit angry today. That's all right. We'll try to cheer it up. Oh. Let's take a little walk out on the dock. Get a little better view of Hayden Lake from out there. So this is this is Honeysuckle Beach. And they've uh, put a little bit of sand in there so it's comfortable to sit out in the summertime and play around in the water. And as long as you stay in close, you, you don't get into too much deep water.
the air temperature is in the mid 20s Fahrenheit but as you can see the, the lake hasn't frozen over just yet there's too much water volume to, to freeze over so fast just from a few days of you know of freezing temperatures that said come come mid-january or so it'll be frozen over for certain maybe I'll come back down here when it's frozen and take another look at it thanks for joining me on my walk today uh, this will probably be the, the last video that we make for anything outdoors with Steve before the end of the year on behalf of everybody at anything outdoors with, with Steve I bid you a happy new year I hope that 2022 brings you health and prosperity I hope that the world opens up a little bit so that I can get out and about internationally and bring some adventures to share with you guys all right I'm gonna go head back to my I'm gonna go head back home get my bunnies bring them down into my man cave Everybody get under blankets and hang out with some movies. Take care. Thanks for joining me.